and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Zoe. Going to be another Zoe deck. Um, this one's going to be a little different and pretty cool. We're going to be playing Heim uh, Zoe with Heimerdinger. And you know all the cool stuff that, of course, Heimer can Heimerdinger can do. And one of them is Pursue Perfection. That's right, we are going to be playing one Pursuit of Perfection for a cool top end card to go along with Heimerdinger and Invoke. Because, of course, Heimerdinger does create all the different turrets. All those turrets have different names. As far as we need to play uh, 20 cards with different names to be able to um, cast Heim uh, Pursuit of Perfection and get this Catastrophe. And then Zoe also makes the different Celestial cards. It makes a super cool star chart, which is a card with a different name. And then, of course, all the different uh, Celestial cards that you can get from your Invoking. Those all have different names. Um, and, uh, you know, so we have like the Zoe that wants you to, to play 10 cards with different names just to level up. But then if we can have 20 cards, then we have the Pursuit of Perfection. So putting those two things together. Other Invoke stuff we have, we have like Star Shaping and Solari Priestess as well. The Spell Thief could be worth multiple names, like the Mountain Goat creates a gem, Flash of Brilliance creates something. Um, so we have a lot of different ways to create uh, different cards as well. So it should be pretty cool. We'll give it a try. We're going to go play on over in Ranked. We'll play five games. Ooh. Twist Fate Fizz. This has got to be a wiggly burble fish deck. Good hand. We'll have turn one Zoe. We'll uh, save Flash of Brilliance for after Heimer. We got that combo. Good hand. Hopefully the Zoe hits so that we have the super cool star chart uh, that we get to cast. Ooh, now I can have... Okay. I was going to say, now I can have turn two Zoe and then have the Sunblast Vigor to protect against, like, Parlay. But considering... Uh, they already tapped out. We can still have this for protection. So you'd think if they would go like warning shot block, if they're if that's like their plan, you think they would have just attacked for two to be able to trade anyway. Humanity is obsolete. Obsolete. Can you improve perfection? Get channel point predictions up. Got a little bit more time for that. I can see just taking this moon glow and just putting the putting the moon glow on the Zoe. I can see doing that. That'd be us taking a little bit of damage here. That's okay, I think. If I play Pale Cascade, then if they have another one damage spell, then it kills my Zoe. Hey, Taco Trader. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. I guess my, yeah, I guess my tie is a little off center and everything, but that's all right. Kind of casual. Uh, I guess they can block with the daring Poro. But I do need to stop their aggression. Ooh, I like that gotcha draw. I like that draw for killing this ballistic bot. Never lost a fair game or played one. Something for all. Of you. I 
Let's do this. No, I don't have any bow ties or bolo ties. I just prefer regular old ties. I did not want to cast the ignition. What seems to be the problem? Alright, so my Zoe is at seven. No. Well, this isn't great. Because, of course, the Chum the Waters will give the Heimerdinger vulnerable. I guess that's for another turn. Hey, Sam. Yeah, they had, a, they had a great hand. You know, turn one fizz, turn two, ballistic bot. You know, all those removal spells. They had the the uh, twisted fate. Be able to break up the spell shield. They had a great hand. So you only have two cards in hand and three mana. Why would why would you not copy the spray fin? I feel like the spray fin was a lot better. Yes, if if. If true shot, if we try to target the fizz with the true shot, they can they can stop it with by casting anything. So I do not want to target the fizz with the true shot. Should still have a good amount of fleeting cards. At least two fleeting cards. With the other pick a card, they discarded pick a card too. I'm always up for a round or two. Uh. I'm a people person. Just, it's kind of curious of why they're passing. We know that the, we know one of these two cards is fleeting, and we know that, um, like they have those daring poros, and they're just passing. This has to be like a spell that they want to use to be able to protect Fizz. Like, one of those has to be. I want the star shape. Like, if they open attack. Okay, it was another Twisted Fate. If they open attack, I want to be able to have star shaping. If they don't open attack, I want, like, you know. You know, like the True Shot Barrage to be able to take out, like, more elusives, basically. Um, passing the turn would have been better for me, though, than what ha what just happened here with all this. I wish I would have just passed the turn. That that worked out very poorly for me, just casting that card. Living Legends doesn't work as well with... Um, Can I, can I possibly do this? Probably not. Let's just, let's 
one more damage if I go like this. Living Legends doesn't work with Hymer as far as like you know you fill your hand with the Celestial cards, then you don't get the uh, the the eight eight, or I guess in in this case now a nine nine, because your hand will be full. I'd love to find another star shaping to heal my nexus again. I'm very worried about being at five. Why they not just play the Ballistic Bot and then get the two of these and then do that? I think I have to do this and look for like the, the Life Steal or... Yeah, I guess... I guess the Scourge is the best choice. Getting the Overwhelm. That's probably my best choice. That thing blocks for the most. So ordinary. Hopefully this works. We got there. GG's. Yeah, so Zizu, uh, sorry, I missed your comment, but yeah, if you go to that that link there in the deck, in the decks, you can find the Ash Planet deck. All right, another turn one, Zoe. That's great. We were playing against, uh, go hard. Get rid of the Hush, and the rest of these are pretty good. Um, you know, just like Invoke cards are going to be good. The Star Shaping's a little slow. I could see getting rid of that, but please don't have turn one go hard. Just let me hit you. Yay. Go. I'm not gonna be playing the goat. Go doesn't really get through this thing anyway. Let's play the priestess to turn on the nightfall for the pale cascade. And good options here between Traveler and Golden Sister. Um, even Ridden and Star is going and finding Heimerdinger is kind of cool and like getting like a three-five Heimerdinger. I guess I'll take the Traveler. I don't know. I like them all. The Traveler kind of gives me... Oh. Monkey Idol. Man, I wish I would have taken now. Now I wish I would have taken the 4-3 Lifesteal. All right, so we're only going to reduce the super cool star chart cost by one. But I wanted to keep Pale Cascade available. I must get out of here. Believe or burn. Could be Twisted Fate Red card. Could be what they're going for. Hmm. The Serpent takes down that Monkey Idol. The Monkey Idol will only make like one other thing. I've become who I was always meant to be. Nah, I'll take the Warrior. I'm always up for a round. Yep, there's a the red card. Something for all of you.
thrash. I wish I didn't take that Moonglow. Now, obviously, I wish I would have just cast the Moon Glow. Make it more likely the Zoe survives. Yep, should cast it. So we're at six. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get there. I think it's gonna be at four. Timer. <laughs> Look at all these numbers. There are so many crooked numbers over here. Yeah, we could do Heimer into Flash, Flash, Flash. But I don't really know what my plan is against Thrash if I do that. I think I do that maybe next turn. I'm going to go Zoe into Warrior instead. Thrash is about to be leveled. What am I doing about you, Thrush? I guess you're just gonna be leveled up. And so, you know, like we have two we have two options. Kill the spray fin and do one damage to them with the Zoe and get the super cool star chart. Or just challenge the Thrush and get five damage in on the Thrush. Make this Thrush a 3-1. Oh, and not have anything die. Yeah, or kill Twisted Fate. I guess that's an option too. So that, that levels up Thresh. Interesting. They're attacking with all that stuff after the Thresh. That's not correct. With their gang, you know, having a, a leveled up Gangplank, them attacking with a leveled up Thresh is, is a disaster, exactly. Yeah, so this is going to be a disaster. True Shot Barrage is the card that I need more than any other with these Flash of Brilliances. There it is. That was the card I needed. Traveler, are they going to play another Twisted Fate? I guess I want Traveler. I think Traveler and Goat this turn. Ah, they did play the Twisted Fate. Should have grabbed the Warrior. Uh, 
Get him? Question mark? No. So eleven mana. Okay, that card's good. All right, we'll take. We're going to take the pass. Do have the cards to be able to... Hey, what's up, Zero Mana Zoe? Do you have the cards to, you know, still be able to grab the T-Hex? want to wait on zero mana zoe that's scary oh that is scary all right that will be a leveled up twisted fate And they passed priority to me. I didn't need to make that attack. I could have just passed back. And they would not have had a leveled up Twist of Fate. Alright, so they have a whole bunch of fleeting cards in hand. Let's see. So the Sunburst. I ha yeah, I have to use Sunburst to kill Twist of Fate. Mystic Shot doesn't do it anymore. Soak it in. I have to have that Sunburst to kill a Gangplank if they play a Gangplank, though. Water is mine and mine alone. I forget and never forget. Something for all of you. Bash in this T-Hex. No, let's just do this. I think I'm going to hush the T-Hex. I think that's my best choice is hush the T-Hex. Like they attack in with their Twisted Fate, I hush. I maybe should have gemmed first. Okay, because the one damage stuff. Probably should have gemmed first, but I'm glad they didn't have a one damage thing. If they would have had a one damage thing, they would have already played it. I guess if they could have slow speed though, like parlay. What was that other card they burned? I saw pilfered goods. I didn't. Was the other one gangplank? What was that other card they burned? I couldn't tell. It goes by so fast, why doesn't it tell you? Does anybody know what that card was? <laughs> yeah, you didn't see it. You only saw... Yeah, I saw Pilfer Goods and something else. How broken would the ability to unsilence cards be? Probably not that broken. Yeah, probably not that broken. I'm worried about like another ruination. A little bit like that's why I didn't like play Heimerdinger here. I didn't want to have like Heimer and Zoe in play. 
with another ruination. How's it going? I, I, I'm obviously setting up Sky's Ascent here. So I, I had to have a Celestial in play to be able to cast the Sky's Ascend. So that's got to be like Pilfer Goods, right? Which I can't do anything about. It's just it's just what am I doing for like the next part of my turn? It's either like play Star Shaping to like protect my Nexus or um, have Bastion available to protect Heimerdinger. I guess I do nothing. Like this. Should have grabbed that elusive. They're just gonna take that. Oh no! Oh, that's a killer. That was my. I need that blocker. <sighs> this didn't work out. Why did I have to have that rekindler and then also like rekindler plus? One side of ruination last turn. Anticipated outcome. Going to one. One's not very much. I just can't I just can't cast Bastion, right? Like I would love to cast Bastion here, but I'm at I'm at one. I just can't. I just can't. Sorry, Heimer. How's that cosmic inspiration going to be? Maybe that would be better than the Immortal Fire. I should have played Immortal Fire. Immortal Fire would have been lethal. I should have grabbed that. Because then I would, I would have had Bastion also. I mean, they could have like played a spray fin to block. Should have grabbed Immortal Fire. Come on. Man, I made a made one mistake. Not grabbing the immort grabbing this instead of the immortal fire. Made one mistake. Hang them by their entrails. Blow them to the depths. One mistake.
That's too bad. Both of those two, like it was my two star shapings were, I guess, yeah, you know, like both star shapings. I took the, I took that ten ten, and then I took the, um, I took this cosmic inspiration. I could have taken like great beyond with the first one, and you know that other, that immortal fire. The, they, they wouldn't have killed it. I, I wasn't positive that the immortal fire was going to be lethal. Honestly, at eight, I wasn't positive that I had played that many invoke cards, but I, I had played six, so yeah, it was, it was going to be lethal. But I, I wasn't sure that it was, which is why. I just shouldn't have taken that Cosmic Inspiration, but, um, yeah. But you live and you learn. You know, like, that's, that's the thing. You just want to keep learning from playing, so we'll take the Immortal Fire next time if a game like that happens again. That was a great game, though. Really close. And, um, you know, yeah, that was a super long game. They had, you know, a lot of great stuff. They, uh, that was a great game. This matchup, I don't need Golden Sister as much. This one against Fiora... You know, I'm looking at like these two cards, like the warrior can challenge Fiora, which could be which could be kind of nice. You know, or Garen. Um, I think I'm gonna go that way. Like the traveler, I'd be looking for an you know for another removal spell. We're not, but we're not really guaranteed to get that. I think with having uh, like these star shapings, they can get removal spells anyway. I'm gonna take the warrior as a card that pressures better. Strike quickly. Okay, most likely means another Fiora. Our ancestors are watching. Or that thing. My heart and sword for the muffin. I'll take the trades. Take those trades. Soldier to me. To you. <laughs> We're good at drawing our mountain goats. Follow my lead. Get a bunch of goats. More goats. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. Hmm. Four four Fiora. The fallen comet should be able to take down the Fiora the next turn. I'll make it so they challenge my priestess and not my goat. Cool. I'm I'm now very glad I didn't just like, you know, use the two gems here. So we can discard a gem, but of course we do have the mountain goat also. Here we go. Leave or burn. I think this has been going well for us. Remember the fallen. All things considered. What's 
seems to be the problem. So no additional attack. Most likely means more bannermen. So that's six damage. So I can try to have three, four, five, six, seven. I can go vigor, vigor. Um. Attack with these things like these, this like one, one, two, 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 one, two, one, since they can't block. But you know, like one thing will be able to block the Cythria. Okay, that could do something, a little something. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now we're making the six one elusives. Man, this like obliterates their entire board or makes all of my stuff great. I guess we want the Cosmic Inspiration. Which I can't cast right now, but. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Well, yeah, they know how Heimer works, but they don't. I'm sure they don't realize that I have like five mana spells that it's like more beneficial for me for them to be six mana spells. I'm sure they don't realize that. Oh, I, I honestly thought about passing. I, I should have played the floor be gone first. I honestly thought about passing and not not letting them attack, but I didn't expect pack mentality. So that's all right. So that's 26 damage. Um, so we're going to need. Uh, yeah, I honestly thought about that. to seven. Honestly thought about that. This has been a crazy game. If only your sister were more like you. She will find her way. T Hex. Significant. 
you block there. You do that, and then you block here, and then you block here. Man, crazy game. We're still gonna get this, but... I'm Redinger is just silly. And there we go. Wow. We've had, like, both these last two games have been insane. Truly remarkable. Truly remarkable. I guess we mulligan the Flash of Brilliance. But I like these cards. I mean, like... Yeah, I mean, like, those two cards aren't bad. They're just mulliganing. Okay, well, I guess we're getting them right back. I want Thermogenic Beam, because if they have turn one Zoe, I want to be able to kill turn one Zoe. With them being a Zoe deck. And then, of course, they're a Grand Plaza deck, so I want to have the Aftershock for the Grand Plaza. But this is kind of a problem. Like, we only have the two Sum Treasures. We're not a very good Sum Treasure deck. We only have the two of them. I'm probably like just playing one some treasure, discarding another. Is it possible that we discard our pursuit of perfection to a some treasure? Is that possible? Or do I discard the other some treasure? Like, that's my best play, is discarding the Pursuit of Perfection. Okay. Alright, so the person that donated for the deck said, go ahead and discard the Pursuit. Because, like, we are just... Um... We just, you know, like, it's, it's turn... So, if they're gonna have Star Shaping... Okay, they're gonna have Hush. You know, it's just, it's just way too early for Pursuit. Okay. But if they were going to have Star Shaping, I didn't want to, like, do that, and then they, they get to cast, star, you know, two damage, and then they Star Shaping, and then get their thing back. I don't want that to happen. Yeah, it's just way too early for it. We'd only played one card. <laughs> but alright, you said next turn we can't discard it. Gotcha. Heimer! His friend, Sun Blessed Vigor. Alright, they're living the life. Yay, Heimer! Um, I don't like that thing. What seems to be the problem? There's a seven-seven dragon. That dragon's so big. Love that Bastion draw. Help protect against single combat. I like that quite a bit. And oh, I don't like that though. Your favorite star. I created it. He's magnificent.
was gonna say they have to be a little bit scared of like blocking with a really soul, right? And so like the reason why I want to do this, why I want to make this attack, is because I want to make it more difficult for a really soul to level up. Um, I'm thinking about just throwing away this thermogenic beam to pop the spell shield. Maybe I should have attacked with everything. The, pro the problem with doing that is like the thermogenic beam is kind of my best way to kill this Aurelian soul. I'm gonna pass for now. Now they'll pay attention. Gosh, so many progress days. I assume that was not directed at me, Zoe. Mm, not the best assumption. No, the the spell shield does stop the sunburst. If I cast a, a progress day, I have seven cards in hand, so I'll draw the three, and then I won't actually make the nine nine. So that'll give me an elusive. Oh, they will shine. Interesting. Let's attack. Not the egg. Come back later. You must be very important. I mean, judgment's not that big a deal. Like it, it takes like if they cast judgment, it takes up their, their whole turn and, and yeah, it kills these five things. But Heimerdinger will just re refill the board, and then like they will be basically tapped out to allow me to kill the Aurelian soul. I need to stop drawing mountain goats. That's that's like the card that we are really good at drawing mountain goat. Progress for no one. We draw plenty of mountain goats. Oh, that's right, the Fury! Right, Aurelian Soul would have a bunch of HP because the Fury would have a lot of health. Bow. If they had judgment. You must be very important. That's a good call. I think I'm just planning on playing Progress Day. Maybe I should have done that before damage. I would have had, what, one mana pill cascade? That wouldn't have mattered that much. Oh, now I don't have Bastion. I really hope that's not a Aurelian Soul's champion spell. Alright, they're gonna let me attack. That sounds cool with me. Now they'll pay attention. Hi 
Maybe I should just be attacking with the Elusives, but you know, that only puts him to eight. I want to try to put pressure on the Aurelian Soul anyway. Alright, so right now this is them going down to two. It's a good draw. Right, this is them going down to zero. And there we go, GG's. I think they got a little greedy by just passing, because we know we knew their hand was just like filled with celestials and stuff from what it really had been doing all all game, but it kind of seemed like they had, I think they had a really in Souls champion spell and they wanted me to do something else, I guess, even though I had a full board. That's what it looked like, is that they had, they had that, but we'll take it. We're three and one. All right, Draven Ezreal. Um, we'll get rid of that. I love, you know, Aftershock kills both champions. Very important. Mystic Shot. Uh, I can kill like some of the smaller things in their deck if that's really a thing. I like the protection that some blessed vigor provides, but actually we'll just go ahead and mulligan both of those. All right, agree. If if we get okay, if we get pursuit, I will be trying to play the pursuit this game. I like having the star shapings. Suck. Um, their deck's not really aggro. They're a control deck. They're a control deck with a ton of nexus damage. Which can make life difficult. Deal four, deal one. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Humanity is obsolete. Can you improve perfection? Rise, metal brethren. Man, they talk so much. System upgrade. <laughs> They're so noisy. Sound like a robot goal. Because they talk when, you know, it says something whenever you make the ignition, when you cast the ignition, and when the ignition resolves. It's just overkill. It's not need to be every single one of those. Just overkill. They haven't really grabbed. They haven't really done anything for me to, to grab so far, right? Like it's only just been the ignitions, I think. Only does two damage. That tribeam populator would be good, but I'm one mana short from doing the spell thief plus the tribeam populator. But that's that's going to be a good spell. Attack with the four two, but I'm happy. Better 
damage also. Oh, that has to be in hand, right. Tribune probably has to be in hand. Oh, why did I use that Flash of Brilliance? Why was I thinking that... Oh, I could have made that three. Oh, I messed that card up. Right, it's not... Oh, I messed that card up. I don't know why... It... Yeah. Just bent a little bit. Cursed Keeper doesn't look great. That doesn't look so great. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. No sweat. No way. See I'm still like a yodel in uniform. So I'm thinking they're going to have Scorched Earth. This Curse Keeper is really awkward. Yeah, that's true. I could have. Yeah, that's true. I, I should have dealt one damage to them with the Curse Keeper the, the previous attack. It's at least a Mystic Shot that's not going to my Nexus. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of that's that's the thing is I kind of need to have Skies Descend next turn. If I do play Skies Descend, I, I'm not going to survive a Captain Farron, but I guess I'm not really surviving this board unless I play Skies Descend because I need to I need to start shaping my Immortal Fire and not start shaping my Nexus if I want to Skies Descend because if I I mean I guess I could just pass and then play this, but then they're going to kill my Immortal Fire like. This is a removal spell for the Immortal Fire. Like how they how they did that, they really care about it being damaged. I believe it's going to be Scorched Earth. That's what I think it's going to be. So that line looks weird. And that's what I couldn't stop. Because I, you know, because we're at four. And I healed that. But basically, even if I would have helped healed for five, I think that I'm, you know, I heal for five, they scorched her at this thing, they they kill me with Captain Farron either way. So, like, I, I don't really regret that because I think that they kill me with Captain Farron either way, but that was my way to win a non Captain Farron game. But Captain Farron's unbeatable. Yeah, I I think it would make sense for Captain Farron to make two decimates instead of three. I think three is a, a, just a, a tad bit outlandish. I think that two is a more level card, and it's still it's still a great card, and it's still very you know like you're still playing and creating two decimates, but three is you know slightly absurd, slightly absurd, but. Oh well, that's how it is. So there we go. That's our Heimer Zoe deck. Very slow deck, <laughs> you know, like with all these invokes and Heimerdinger and everything. If you like fast games and ranking up quickly, uh, maybe not the deck for you. But um, if you like having the games in your control and making a ton of decisions 
and uh, playing a longer game and playing, uh, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, and lots of lots of card advantage and never running out. Like, you know, this could be the game for you. There's the the game two that I, I think I could have won, but that was a really good game, really close game back and forth and everything. And, you know, it was plenty of turns, you know, I don't know, close to 20 turns or so. And I ended up losing that one. Um, I pro you know, I'm sure I had the tools to win it, go back and, and uh, you know, micromanage every decision. But that's that's what this kind of deck does, it, is it gives you that kind of option and everything. That last game was going to be pretty difficult with their, like how they had like the hand that went wide, and I, I really didn't. I didn't have that good of a hand. And um, my mulligan decision that last game, both of my mulligan decisions hurt. Those cost me. We didn't get to pull off the Pursuit of Perfection. That would have been really cool, but we didn't get to pull it off. Um, but uh, yeah, everything else was was really good in the deck. Zoe was really good. Heimerdinger was amazing. And our deck was pretty sweet. All right, so th anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. If you give this deck a try, let me know how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'd be interested in hearing about that. But thank you so much for watching. Some Heimer Zoe, and I'll see you for the next video.